Without intrinsic motivation, there's no success. In this video, you will learn five strategies to keep your team on track so that you have less sleepless nights and that you've got a motivated team. So watch it till the end so you can learn about motivation. My name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I would like to help you to become a great leader. Today's topic is about motivation. If you don't want to miss any content on Leadership for Entrepreneurs, just subscribe to my channel here on YouTube by clicking on the button below this video. Motivation strategy number one, trust. If you have a topic or challenge delegated to one of your team members or to your team, then let them do it, coach them, support it, see if they are on track, but don't take it away from them if it doesn't work according to your <clears throat> plans. Motivation strategy number two, stretch. One of my favorite professors at business school in the entrepreneurship class always said, if you want to be successful as an entrepreneur, always bite off a little bit more than you think you can chew. Allow your team to bite off a little bit more than they think they can chew by giving them stretch tasks, stretch targets. Leave it with them, delegate again, support them. And if you see that the task might be a little bit too difficult to uh, get along with, then you can still cut it into smaller pieces or reduce it. So motivation strategy number two, stretch. Motivation strategy number three, match. That means match their strengths to the challenges that you give them. Ask them what they think that their strengths are and give them challenges that match these strengths. So you must understand what kind of personality is your team member. Is he more extrovert or more introvert, more task orientated, more relationship orientated? Depending on these standard personality types, your team will have, or your team members will have different strengths. And for example, if you've got a very analytical task to do, you would rather take an introvert, fact-orientated person than if, for example, you want somebody to do a presentation that is compelling. You would rather take an extrovert and maybe a person or relationship orientated person. So motivation strategy number three, match. Motivation strategy number four, listen. One of my colleagues used to say in the old days in one of the companies I led, you've got two ears, two eyes, one mouth. So listen and watch more than you speak. And do the same with your team members to keep them motivated. Listen to them, understand their challenge, ask open questions to understand more that will motivate them because they say, hey, um, he's also motivated to understand, he's motivated to help. Offer your ideas, offer them as ideas really, not as orders. Let them implement um, the actions that they need to address the challenge and then give them feedback. So. Motivation strategy number four, listen. Motivation strategy number five, don't be a coach. Well, that might sound a little bit strange. Does it sound strange? Yes, it does. Because coaching, coaching your team members and being there as a coach is something like um, uh, something which is quite en vogue. I tell you, don't coach them in the classical way. What does a classical coach do? They ask questions all the time to lead you to success. You don't need this in, an, in a startup, in an entrepreneurial organization, because you have no time. So the classical coach would say, listen, where do you exactly want to go to? And how would it feel if you were there? So what would be the last step before you reach that goal? And what would be the step before that? So the classical coach would moderate you from A to B and you would find your answers yourself. You don't have the time for that. So listen, as I said in strategy number two, number four, excuse me, in the, in the strategy before, and then give your ideas, your hints. And sometimes if you know that you're right, or if you know something is right, just say, listen, do it like this. We, we don't have the time to, to discuss or we don't have the time to do it that way. That should be the exception. I'm, uh, I'm okay with that. But 
don't do, don't be the classical coach. So strategy number four, motivation strategy number four, don't be a coach. So what did we have in this video? First of all, we talked about five strategies to motivate your people. They are, <clears throat> it is very important uh, that they have trust. It is very important that you match their challenges to their strengths. It is very important that you give them a stretch so that they can, as I said, bite off a little bit more than they think you can chew, they can chew. It is very important for them to, for you to listen. And finally, don't be their coach in the classical sense. Coach them more as a trainer who shows them how certain things can be done and then let them try themselves. If you want to be a great motivator, click on the link below and subscribe to my channel. The life program that I have created will give you the main uh, strengths of great leaders, great world leaders within weeks. This means for you and your company that your sleepless nights will be reduced to a minimum and that your company and yourself, you will be very successful. See you soon. Yours, Armin. And don't forget, lead yourself.